Hey, this is Ken Kersinger, a.k.a. Jason from Freddy vs. Jason, and uh, you're watching Slasher Pepper. Have fun. I did. So, uh, first question, uh, real simple. How are you? <laughs> well, I'm good. I'm enjoying uh, a good summer here in Vancouver. Um, normally, we get a lot of rain, as people may have heard, but uh, it's been very, very beautiful. I've got some fishing in and some boating and... Uh, uh, oh, summer's nice. short here, so we everybody you know tries to enjoy it as much as they can. Right. Yeah. yeah. Just live it to the fullest. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, it's a beautiful city, but got to enjoy it when the sun's out. <laughs> right. <laughs> nice. Um, and um, you know, work related. Do you have any new projects coming up you might be able to plug? You know, I don't have anything for sure, uh, so I'm not going to say anything. Um, right. I'm always kind of working on scripts that I write uh, and uh, stay busy that way, uh, auditioning, um, but uh, nothing firm. Awesome. Well, uh, keep at it. <laughs> yeah. And, um, you know, to go back uh, to 2003, the year I was born, uh, Freddy oh, wow. vs. Jason was released. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what do you remember from being on set of this film? Uh, you know, I have to say that it was, uh, one of the easiest jobs I, I, I had, uh, really? I call them, well, I call them suit jobs, right? Because, uh, you know, I, I played a lot of monsters, uh, a werewolf and MacGyver and, uh, uh, uh or sorry, a, a, a Sasquatch and MacGyver, a werewolf in another movie called bad moon. And, and, uh, so, uh, it, the costume was easy to put on and off and, uh, I, had a stunt double for the uh for the major uh fire gag the only one that i really wanted to do in the movie um so i had it pretty good and uh i didn't realize how big a movie it was until we started shooting it and then my, right. my relatives started getting a hold of me and saying hey have you checked the internet on this uh uh you know and, and lo and behold it was uh, kind of blew up on the internet right yeah that's that's really awesome um and, um, you know, everyone's always, uh, I don't know if you hold up with this nowadays, but, uh, you know, everyone's always speculating still to this day, like what would happen in a Freddy versus Jason two, like what would happen in a rematch, you know? Yeah. Um, who do you think, <laughs> who, who do you think would win? Well, I think they might have to give it to Freddy because, you know, I, cause I, I think I won pretty definitively the, the first battle. Yep. Uh, yeah. You know, I always say I won by a head. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so uh, I, I think that, uh, you know, Freddie might be due. And then then that would set up a nice third one to see who who they would give the third one to. Right. But um, yeah, it uh, it would be interesting to, to, to watch anyway, wouldn't it? Yeah, for sure. And um, uh, were you a fan of the Friday the 13th movies before? You know, I'd seen them all, you know, pretty much as they came out in, the the uh, in theaters and, uh, right. and at the time. And and I was kind of I was into, uh, you know, slasher films. That was about the right time period for me and stuff. And, and uh, <clears throat> you know, as time goes on, I think I became more of a sci fi buff than a than a horror buff. Oh, nice. but, um, um, yeah. So I think I'm more sci fi now than horror. But, right. Uh, you know, if it's a good one. I still enjoy them. Yeah, I saw. I saw. I only read the headlines, but uh, I did see that they are in talks now for Friday Thirteenth movie next year, maybe. Oh, but, really? Um, yeah. Well, you would know. You'd know more than me, uh, right? Um, you know, they've been trying to get that going with all the um, uh, legal issues and whatnot. I, I know the fans are ready for another one. Yeah, yeah, because there are like a bunch of. Uh, fan films being made now like that's kind of where, yeah. the, uh, where the franchise is at this point you know yeah exactly i've seen a few of those oh yeah. nice yeah which, which one did you see uh i can't remember the names or, or anything like that right. but, but but uh, uh robert and i when we've talked about another freddy versus jason um we sort of thought it, you know it'd be fun to involve a fan um into the story because they've supported all this for all this time and stuff right. like that so we thought you know, if they created a character who realized, you, you know, kind of the bullied kid who who realizes one day, you know, Freddie and Jason, you know, uh, who he's big fans of, you know, 
Uh, they were mortal at one time. How how did they become these sort of immortal killing machines? And so right. he goes on a quest to try and find out more information about the characters. And I thought, I thought that would be a neat thing to do for the fans. And because people are always wanting more to know more about the character. It's and, and crazy. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. With horror fans, it seems like, you know, a sequel was announced. The sequel was there. And then everyone's like, all right, that was cool. Where's the third one? You know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. it's pretty funny. Um, yeah. And uh, here's a bit of a random philosophical question. Uh, sure. If you ruled the world, what would it look like? Wow. What would it look like? Uh, everywhere would look like Vancouver. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> would make it all look like Vancouver. A sunny um, Vancouver, well, right? Yeah, what would the world look like? Oh, God, I don't know. A lot of comedy shops and <laughs> things to cheer people up. Uh, right. Definitely not any wars. Uh, right, we don't uh, need any. More yeah, lots more talking. Awesome. And um, what's your biggest pet peeve? My biggest pet peeve? Oh. God. Um You'd think I'd be able to think of some off, right. off, <laughs> off hand. Uh, I don't, biggest pet peeve. I probably inconsiderate people, people who keep other people waiting, people who uh, uh, don't think of other people's time. Oh, um, yeah, right. Um, uh, you know, probably selfish people, maybe. I don't know, that's a pet peeve of mine. Right. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> <laughs> um, and uh, final question, if your life was a movie, how would you want it to end? Oh, with a big party scene. Nice, yeah. <laughs> Sounds amazing. <laughs> yes. Yeah, definitely with a big party scene. Cool. You definitely win again then in the end of the movie. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, is there anything you would like to add to the interview? Uh, nothing is just great to be able to talk to somebody on the other side of the world and, and, right. uh, and you know, have things in common. And uh, thank you very much. It's great. Uh, great chatting with you. Thank you for your time. Man.